In so many countries, it's the law that you can't use your phone when you're driving, unless it's on hands-free, because driving whilst on the phone is dangerous. We're told this so consistently that we take it to be gospel truth. But is there scientific evidence to support the suggestion that mobile phones lead to road accidents? And if that evidence does exist, what does it tell us about what our brain gets up to whilst we're on the road? In the UK, it's been illegal to drive whilst using a handheld mobile phone since 2003. And most road users seem to abide by this law. But you do still see drivers holding a phone up to their ear or even more shockingly, texting at the wheel. Clearly, it's not possible to look at the phone and the road at the same time. We don't have independently controllable eyes like chameleons. So texting should quite obviously be an impairment to safe driving. But a study of people's phone records where people have been involved in an accident shows that 24%, a quarter of people involved in an accident have been having a natter on their mobile phone in the 10 minutes prior to the accident. That puts phone usage on a par with drink driving. So what is it about phones that makes them so dangerous at the wheel? Well, common sense might lead us to think that holding the phone is the issue, as we now have one fewer hand to operate the car with. But if that's the case, why aren't smoking and eating a snack also against the law whilst driving? Strayer and Johnston attribute the danger of mobile phones whilst driving, not to the act of holding a phone, but to the conversation itself. In a simulated driving experiment, the researchers had participants control a joystick with the aim of following a moving target on the screen. You can actually try this experiment at home using a free online game like Tunnel Rush. The participants were split into groups. They either had a handheld phone conversation, a hands-free conversation, or they listened to the radio. And in a later study, some participants listened to an audiobook whilst completing the task instead. So if you want to give this a go, get a friend on the phone for the handheld and hands-free conditions and throw on the radio for the passive listening condition. As with driving, the participant had to stay on course without crashing. And if they came across a red light, they had to stop, whereas if they came across a green light, it meant they could continue. And the researchers found that the probability of jumping a red light almost doubled when the participants were talking on the phone. But get this, it didn't make a difference if the participants was on hands-free or holding the phone. Because holding the phone isn't the dangerous part. According to Strayer and Johnston, the conversation is. And this conclusion is supported by other studies of selective attention at the wheel. Away from mobile phones for a moment, Parks found that regular conversations during car journeys ebb and flow to match the difficulty of the driving. In a challenging spot, conversation dies down. Whereas when the driving's easier, the conversation livens up again. Of course, when everyone's in the car together, they're all aware of the driver's context and therefore better informed for when to keep quiet. Of course, someone at the other end of a phone doesn't have this contextual information and therefore they can't respond appropriately. So how come we can listen to a radio presenter, but not our friends on the phone whilst driving? Well, the key answer to that, as Strayer and Johnston note, is that people drive more poorly whilst they're talking on the phone much more than when they're listening. Therefore, it's the active engagement in the conversation that's most likely to contribute to accidents on the road. So yes, it really is dangerous to use your phone whilst at the wheel you'd be significantly more likely to be involved in a road accident. But don't blame the phone. Driving whilst on the phone, handheld or hands-free, seems to put us at risk of making errors at the road because we're just not made to immerse ourselves in the art of conversation whilst operating a turbocharged, gas-guzzling hulk of metal at however many miles per hour. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, or even forward it on to a friend who might be interested. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe to Psychology Unlocked and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.